What's up YouTube, mcool 40 here, uh, bringing you guys my version of Jarrell Pro Winston's uh, Gear Guy Calcare deck from Canada. This has my own spin on it and I really like this version, it's been testing pretty fun. So next up, 3 armor, the heart of the deck, this card is ridiculously good. And then 3 of the lone fire blossom and then 3 of the wind up shark. Um, this is your basic engine, it, it's, it supports itself really well. As long as you always open up one of the key pieces, you'll be good. And then next up, I'm playing 2 MK2. I know that this is a really bad card, but the ability to bring back armor after your opponent starts to exhaust the resources and you just generate your pluses to start swinging for game, that's what he's good for, and he fuels a certain soul of the Silver Mountain. Uh, next up, 1 Strategist, and then 2 Watchdog. Uh, these are your basic Calcary tuners. This is all you need. Uh, you can play one quick if you absolutely feel necessary, but this seems like to be the right number. And at least Saizen can't be destroyed when he's doing his thing. I like that a lot. Next up, double effect Valor. Uh, same thing. Three Valor's too much. Two's just right. You don't even really need Valor, but in the way the meta's shaping up, Valor will at least slow down your opponent to ensure that you get a turn. And then one Gores. I hate OTKs. Uh, for back row hate maximum that you can do heavy and three MSTs. Uh, you need to be able to get your armor off without getting warninged. When he gets warning it's a sad day in the neighborhood. Uh, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, and Book of Moon. Pretty self-explanatory. And Pot of Avarice. Avarice is a lot more live than most people give it credit for in this because you are going to hit five in your graveyard with all of your armors dying continuously. Next up for traps, the Solemn Brigade. Uh, Double Mirror Force. Double Mirror Force is pretty much staple right now. It really sucks to say that, but you need to play Double Mirror Force and everything. It's just too powerful. Uh, one Torrential, very receptive card. Double Bottomless, I hate Shining. Triple Compulse, I hate Shining. Triple Deep Prison, I hate Shining. And then one Starlight Road. It seems like I always get torrential or something, and I never draw my Starlight Road, but I'm playing it nonetheless. So there's that deck. Uh, some things you're basically going to need for your extra deck. Um two beret and two burrito. Uh, two of each is fine. Uh, no more, no less. Uh, you can play one of each if you absolutely feel necessary, but you will pretty much filter through these. Uh, one Stardust Dragon, same thing. You need the one for the one star that road. And then one Soul of the Silver Mountain. You actually do make this a lot more than you would think you would, because those double MKs get on the field, and they don't seem to go anywhere. And remember, guys, Compulse with our friend MK2 is stupid broken Yu-Gi-Oh's. So that's just some of the little stuff you're gonna need for the extra deck. Let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments down below. Uh, deck is really fun to play. So, alright guys, I'm out. Peace.